and welcome to my very first vlog, which is probably going to be a complete and total disaster if I may be honest with you. But that's why we're here to learn and love what? <laughs> yeah, okay, so let me just get into things. Um, quick background on who I am and why I am making these um, interesting vlogs to say the least. So I am a photographer. I like to call myself a photographer. I mean, I've been photographing for nine years. Um, probably about four to six of that has been professional, like paid jobs, you know, real deal stuff, working with universities and stuff like that. Yeah, cool things. So long story short, I just graduated from college and the college I graduated with was probably one of the best experiences of my life. They taught me so much and they gave me these amazing opportunities. And within these opportunities, I've traveled with their football team and baseball team. I got to shoot a winning World Series with our team. That didn't make any sense. Um, okay, with my university, um, I was able to shoot our baseball team at a College World Series, which we actually ended up winning. Um, and I traveled with their football team. So now, since all that is over, I'm done, did, graduated, I'm working with a friend who's a freelance NASCAR photographer, and he is so amazing enough <laughs> to bring me along to these races and help him photograph, film, and do all that jazz. So this weekend, we're in Talladega. Um, this is only my third NASCAR weekend. I've done a race in Atlanta and I did the Daytona 500, which was my first race. Yeah, crazy. And I wanted to give a quick look in my life, what it's like, you know, what it's like to photograph these events and travel and all this jazz because I got a lot of questions, especially since this being so male dominated and so, um, I want to say a unique niche, niche, unique, let's just go with a unique hobby and career. Um, I just kind of wanted to give a look into what I actually do and what it's like. Um, it won't be so much of this talking, I promise it will be snapshots here or there, the race, you know, the cool things about it all. And I hope you enjoy it. And Thank you so much for watching. Please give me constructive feedback. I'm going to need it. I'm about to go walk back to the garage and see if I could get like any behind the scenes photos and then I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, bye. And this is 12.30 to 1.30. They're qualifying. Then cup final is 1.30 to 2.30 and then RQ qualifying is 2.30 to 3.30. Nothing really exciting happened. We just had lunch, went through some photos. Now we're off to another practice and yeah, just gonna shoot more. <laughs> okay, bye.
you see on the, is this uh, the roof? The strange rattle track. Is this the stand? Is this the roof or is this just, this is the roof, right? Oh, wow. Is this the roof? <laughs> like the 10th lap of practice for the, the cup cars and this poor guy flipped seven times so now we're back on a break but yeah unfortunately I didn't get the <laughs> unfortunately I didn't get the shot because I thought it was a replay but it was happening before my eyes <laughs> As you could probably see I am exhausted but it's only day two so yesterday after the races and whatever happened um, the race went on forever there was like so many crashes and so anyways after the races I was just so tired like I recorded a little video but it wasn't anything ooh, anything great um, but yeah, today is a really big day for us. We're shooting the sponsor of the event, so fingers crossed that we do well and everything goes as planned. I'm going to try and record more today, but we'll see. It'll definitely be busier today. Sorry, I'm like so tired. So this is legit how I carry my equipment. This is only like a part of it, and it's probably about 45 pounds. So for everyone, how much that asked me how much this weighs is a lot <laughs> like yeah <laughs> and talk there's like a group of cops behind me and I feel like I look so weird <laughs> yeah this is my life like, I probably could just walk back to the media center but it's like a 15 minute walk I get there I have some water a snack maybe then I walk right back and then I have to walk back again so I don't know but I'll just talk about what I'm shooting with today and what I usually shoot with with races so I'm a Nikon shooter my main body is a Nikon D700 and I have like a battery grip that I use that I attach to the bottom which allows me to shoot longer, faster, all that good jazz, vertically, horizontally, just easier, it's cool. And on that body my favorite lens to shoot with is a 200 to 7, a 70 to 200 2.8 which is like a super fast lens that gives you a pretty decent focal length and wide angle and then what I have right here is my old Nikon D7 D100 which is not a full frame it's like a semi-professional amateur camera 
and my 300 lens is like one of those big boy lenses that you see all those fancy photographers carrying around. It's a 300 millimeter with 2.8, it's really fast. It's a beautiful lens, it's about 17 year old lens. Got it used, it's good as new. It's one of the older lenses that are like built with all metal so this thing weighs a whopping like eight pounds and I have probably that whole setup is about 15 pounds on one shoulder so you know it's a workout in one but yeah like a lot of people ask what I shoot with and I'm a Nikon shooter um, I'm looking into Sony's I would love a full frame but you know they're just really expensive so the life of a freelance photographer <laughs> Um, so I'm walking back, I had to go shoot a trophy detail thing. I'm literally carrying so much stuff and it's like, probably like, such. it's such a long walk, like a half a mile, three quarters, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm struggling. One of the How are we feeling about day two? I'm miserable. I'm really burnt. It was a long one. We're, we're so red. It's bad. God, we're Billions of people. It sure does look like that. It's probably easily it's probably five hundred thousand. No, 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 no. Probably close to two hundred thousand. Two hundred. Well, two. That's how many people could fit in the stadium. Maybe one hundred and seventy thousand. One hundred and seventy. That's realistic. Damn, that's a lot of people though. Oh. Yo, they got Tito's. Oh, <laughs> I want some Tito's. There's a lot of booze around here, Alex. Let's go boozing. Day three is kind of a lighter day for us, so I'm just gonna kind of walk around today and show you what the venue is like. Um, right now, I'm just kind of scouting. Fighter coming into Montgomery, Alabama. It's our latest and greatest weapon, and it'll be better than any other country. Just like a quick view. Good job. 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 Good job.
you all are not gonna believe what just happened. So of course, okay. Of course, after we stopped recording that video of the wrestler, he came up to me. Let me put this here. He came up to me. He's like, "Yo!" And I was like, "Oh." starstruck I don't even know his name <laughs> I was like what's up he's like can we get a picture together which noted I know it's not allowed but hold on but he asked for the picture and not me so that's allowed and I was like a picture with me he's like yeah I was like okay <laughs> so he took a selfie on his phone and then walked away and didn't even give me the picture <laughs> So no one's gonna believe me when I say this like guys. It's real. It happened then his friend I don't know who the hell his friend was. He was like like find me on Instagram and DM me I'll be the I don't want to DM you. I want my picture <laughs> That's insane crazy Okay We're done here in Talladega I'm just getting clothes to change into for the ride home and that was absolutely crazy and I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> Hashtag I'm blushing so hard. <laughs> this dude was like seven feet tall and like jacked out of his mind. These people probably think I'm insane. Like he was freaking huge. Oh, but yeah, that's it. Bah, crazy. Hi! Okay, so if you made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a complete mess. Like, a lot of the video was really shaky. I was just really embarrassed to film, which is so not okay to be embarrassed to film. But I'm nervous. I don't know how to, like, do all this stuff yet. I hope my edits were decent. I'm really learning. Um... I really really do appreciate you guys watching and I really love making these videos like I think editing was just as fun as you know filming all of it so I'm going to hope well I'm going to try and hope to continue to make more travel vlogs and work vlogs and I don't know videos I guess but thank you so much and I'll see you at the next race <laughs>